How you doing, Ice Michael Baker? Just a quick reply to your recent reply to my recent video. Appreciate the video reply. Video replies are very cool. Very cool for you to make one. And you showed a lot of interest in how I am and how I'm feeling my health and my music and my art and I appreciate that too. You're a very nice person to ask about others that way and be concerned that way. To answer some of your questions real quick, my health is up and down. <laughs> you, you see other people struggle with getting older and having ailments and eventually some of them you see die and it's like you not really prepared for stuff like that happening to yourself. And I'm not saying that I'm dying. I don't know when or if I'll die. I might just decide not to die. And then that will just be that. Um, and the funny thing there is most of us don't decide these things. It's what happens to you. After living a certain length of time, your body wears out or you don't eat right and take care of yourself like you should. <laughs> eat too much and don't care of yourself, take care of yourself like you should. So a number of things are kind of affecting me right now. I've got one thing that's real hard to handle. It's a sharp pain that I'm feeling in my right butt cheek. <laughs> it's a pinched nerve or something. And it makes the pain go all the way down my leg. And so it's hard to walk. As if I didn't have trouble already walking. And now this is even more. But, you know, we all have these things to deal with. And it shows your character, how well you hold up under it. And if you can hold up under it. Of course, some things are harsher, worse than we can handle. And we, uh, those who would say there's a God, those who believe, would pray that he give you support and strength to persevere through and sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't happen and I don't want to say one way or the other for sure that there is or isn't a God at least I will say this there are times I believe very strongly that there is a God there are the times when I have a question and I wonder can there be a God can this happen in the world I live in if there actually is a God so I'm kind of on the fence torn about that. I, I hope if there is a God that I'm not insulting him in any way or abusing the gift that he has given us, any of us, myself or any of us, and that I'm not taking it for granted. If there isn't a God, you know, I wouldn't particularly want to make too much of a fool of myself, but that's not a problem either, really. Um, you believe what you believe, the time that you believe it, that's not meaning that you're a fool necessarily. And I've done plenty of foolish things that were much more foolish than saying I believe in God or that, you know, I sometimes pray or believe in miracles. I don't particularly think that any of that is foolish. We don't necessarily control that either. Like we don't control our aches and pains. We don't necessarily control what we believe. We believe something and then we can talk about it and think about it and analyze it and try to figure out why we believe it or tell others why we believe it. But you believe it before you decide to believe it. And your decisions about what you believe can affect what you believe, but you still end up believing before you make any of those decisions. Now, what your beliefs are afterwards, and if you can stick to it after you make decisions on your beliefs, uh, whether that then can supplant or take the place of your beliefs, I'm not sure. Maybe that's possible. And maybe that's what it takes to believe in God, is to actually make a decision to believe in God, to change about what you believe in all of reality and what you see all around you, because it's not a natural thing to believe in something that you can't see or tell that exists. I know that's confusing. That's confusing me. I, g I guess the point there is, is that sometimes I believe very strongly, other times I have more doubt, and... To not leave the atheists out, I support them too. Uh, sometimes I'm completely atheistic in my belief. I completely cannot see any logical reason or 
possibility that there is a God that's in control of everything. Or if he is, he's so foreign and alien to me, so much so as to not be a personal God. And thus, I don't believe in a God that knows me or that can help me or that can control things in my life because he's way too far removed, too impersonal beyond knowing me. And that's okay, too. I'm just saying that that's a possible condition. And I certainly believe sometimes that either there isn't a God or he's that far removed that it doesn't matter to him what happens to me. And, you know, we all have a certain amount of uh, personal struggle and feel, you know, needful in those ways sometimes. And that's hard to control and something that is better to control if you can help it. If you start to feel needful like that and before you make bad decisions and selfish decisions to try to take something or hurt somebody so that you can feel better, you're better to put those needful feelings aside if you can. And that's whether there's a God or not. Even if there isn't a God, it just helps you and helps society and everybody else to not respond emotionally or off of those needful feelings. But sometimes we can't help that. Sometimes that's just what happens and we believe what we believe and we do what we do. And I hope that there is a God, that if there is a God, or that there is a God that can take all of that into consideration, watch and analyze all of our lives, and care for all of us, enough so that he doesn't let us perish. That we don't have to follow Buddha, or Muhammad, or, or Jesus Christ, or the Judaic Bible, or uh, Hinduism, or... Tao or Zoroastrianism or any particular ism or religion that that God will analyze and love us for what we are even when we make mistakes or do bad things and that that God can forgive us and that at some point some point in our spiritual being our spiritual lives we become awake enough and aware enough and able to become caring and all loving and are then cherished and brought back to the bosom of God and have that feeling of release that life long of suffering we no longer have to face anymore we can just release let go and be free and be happy and maybe hopefully maybe that's what heaven is or after life once we die that we give up these earthly bounds and we shed all these earthly struggles and physical problems and we become one with God again. Excuse me. Anyway, I ask Michael Baker. That's a little bit of my philosophy, and sure, I don't even know what it means. <laughs> and I thank you for following my art, my music, and such. Um, haven't been doing as much lately. I have had the hip problem, leg problem, pinched nerve, whatever it is, sciatic nerve. I've had that for the last three weeks or so, and before that, I had some other problems and that's just a little bit of a struggle but I really do appreciate your sending a video in response to my latest video and this video is in response to that video to your response video and so it's going to be like a whole train wreck I mean a whole <laughs> chain reaction one video after the other not a wreck not a wreck at all um, as far as my music is concerned I'm really glad that you're enjoying it and I think that that's the main thing doesn't have to be something special that you're a uh, big statement trying to make or you don't have to be so perfect with your playing all the time if you're enjoying making the music and others can look at it and listen to it and enjoy listening to the music then you're accomplishing something and that's even if it's something that's a little odd or different uh, I appreciate you also calling me an artist I, th I think of myself almost more as an artist than a musician in that I think that my music better addresses the idea of what's art than it does of what's music. So it doesn't try so much to follow the guidelines of music, but that's also what I would think that a truly creative musician would want to do, uh, who is pursuing music as an art form, is to create art that does not, or music that does not necessarily follow exactly along the lines of other music that's already been created. The idea here is to not be a perfect uh, performer of specific musical scores as much as it is to create new music or create some new sound. Make your ears tickle a little bit or go, what, what's that? Ooh, that's kind of strange and interesting or unusual or, wow, that sounds crazy wild, crazy weird, you know. I'm on that weird side of YouTube again. Yeah, that kind of thing. I've got a few of those comments. That kind of 
makes me happy even when I realize they're kind of mean it to be a barb. They're actually kind of jabbing me in the side with it. Saying, ah, it's the weird side of YouTube. And I'm kind of going like, yeah, okay. I finally made it. All right. <laughs> I have arrived. <laughs> but, uh, I, Michael Baker, I really appreciate your video. Your videos, you've made a couple to my videos, responses, and appreciate your concern and asking about my health and my art, and uh, think that you're really a wonderful, beautiful person, and that uh, you have some great videos on YouTube, and obviously some great following that uh, people really enjoy listening to you and talking to you and whatnot, and I think you're a great person that way, a very close, personable person, I like to be right there with you talking to you and you know that you're not just talking at you or trying to tell you something or tell you to be something but accepting you like you are and being asking about that and being you know genuinely interested and in having showing that love I really appreciate that I ice Michael Baker if that really is your name <laughs> and now I'm making fun of the ice part I was you know you could have a first name ice and that's great or it could be a YouTube uh, name that you've made for yourself and that's great and uh, <laughs> I'm not really making fun I'm laughing with you I hope that uh, Ice Michael Baker is a very unique name and that's good that's a good handle a good YouTube uh, username to have it's an interesting name too so appreciate your videos appreciate you and I hope you are doing well and you look well you look healthy and strong and I hope that's the truth, that that's really uh, how you're feeling and how you're doing. And thank you once again for being so nice to ask about me and my art. Take care. Peace.